This segment of KPVI More is brought to you in part by Rush's Kitchen Supply. Welcome back to KPVI More. Joining us now again, Alex Constantino from Russia's Kitchen Supply in Idaho Falls. Thank you, you so doing? much for joining us today. You know, one of the comments that we get, and we know we have personal experience from this, there are a lot of zucchinis that grow here in eastern Idaho in the fall, and a lot of people are saying, you know, I'm really tired of making zucchini bread. Is there something else that I can do with zucchini? I have the thing for you to do. It's something that we teach in one of our appetizer cooking classes. It's a, it's a zucchini that's been spooned out into a boat and we stuff it with smoked gouda Ooh. and roasted red peppers. Ooh. A wonderful, wonderful appetizer slash great side dish. Good thing to do with your zucchinis. On the difficulty scale of one to 10, this would be falling a... Uh, it's probably about a four or five. Oh, okay. We have a couple steps that we've got to deal with. Okay. Roasting red peppers if you've never done that before, but we'll get into that and I'll show you how to All do right, it. Alright, let's jump into this. Alrighty, first off we want to use a nice zucchini, something that's pretty symmetrical and big, depending on how big of a piece you want, but I like this size of a zucchini. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the zucchini ready. We're going to cut both ends off, Okay. set that aside, and then we're going to split it right down the middle like that okay. until we've got it halved lengthwise. Then we can either take a melon baller or just a regular teaspoon works pretty good. And what we need to do is we need to spoon out the center area to hollow it out, kind of like a dugout <laughs> canoe, should okay. we say. So we call it our uh, zucchini canoe. It's a zucchini canoe. And what I want to do is I want to make sure and get all the seated area. Okay. That so say how deep should your canoe be? Should it be to the right to the edge or right, I wanna, just give a little bit of meat on I there? wanna have the meat of the zucchini still intact. Okay. But I wanna get all of the seeds and that out of the middle here. That seems to retain a lot of moisture huh. and will take and make my stuffing become soggy, shall we okay. say. And so it's better to get the seeds right out of it uh -huh. just like that. Okay. Okay, so then once you've got it like that, like I've got these over here, we're going to take some olive oil and a little handy dandy little mister thing here that makes it a lot easier, a lot better to use than aerosol spray, should okay. we say. Doesn't have any weird chemicals in it, it's uh. all natural and I can use extra virgin olive oil or regular olive oil and I just want to coat it to give oh, it a little bit of something. <laughs> We're, I like to put a little bit of kosher salt on. Okay. Get that like that. And I'm going to kind of, the recipe, which you guys can see on the website, calls for six pinches. Six, okay. Six pinches. Consider myself, I just used two pinches, maybe three. So, you know, control your, control your salt content. Okay. I like to use a little bit of fresh ground pepper on this part. And then what you do is you, you put this into a 375 degree preheated oven. Okay. Say for about four or five minutes. So you want to cook it first before you put your ingredients Not cook in. it all the way. Okay. Okay. Just cook get it, it nice and warm and. You just want to cook it par bake, what they call al okay. dente. Ah. It's still firm. It still has some rigidity to it. It's not Cooked cooked, through all the but way. you took it halfway. And now okay. we're getting to the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about the stuffing. The stuffing, the recipe is you've got one roasted red pepper, and I don't know if you have ever roasted a red pepper before, but the easiest way to do it is to stick it in a pan like this and stick it under the broiler and let it get blackened. Okay. okay? You build a lot of flavor when you do this. Okay. This is a secret that most of the Hispanic community does in all of their peppers ah. is always roast them, and their tomatoes roast too. Them first, okay. And that's why we love the food so well. Once you get it done like that, you put it into a bowl and cover it in saran wrap leave it for 10 minutes and what this does is it allows it to seat and makes it so that the skin of the bell pepper, ooh smell that. Oh wow, the just aroma, get a whiff, that is so nice. The skin ends up coming off very ah. easily and you can discard it. Now you don't you, have to fight with it to get the skin off. You don't have okay. to fight with it. Now you have a wonderful roasted red pepper flavor nice. which is a key element to this recipe. Okay. Then we take that and we do it into a small dice. Uh, grab one of these. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, no, it can be a little messy, that's fine. We've got shallots that we've minced up. We've okay. got a little bit of garlic. 
Uh, we've got panko breadcrumbs, and that gives it the wonderful really? texture that it okay. has. Okay, we're not going to use regular pan, uh, breadcrumbs, but the panko is a much bigger size, used a lot in Asian cooking. I huh. think you'll really like it if you've never done it before. Okay. We, of course, have smoked Gouda, oh, which Gouda is usually talking. in the deli aisle at the grocery store. Right. You guys are probably familiar with them when they come in the big red pill. Right. Well, the smoked one comes in a black pill. Okay, get the Cut black pill. Cut it open, <laughs> use a food processor, whatever you have, to grate it down. Uh, I think the recipe calls for four ounces. We're going to use a little bit of white wine. I personally like to use a Sauvignon Blanc. It's a nice, mellow wine flavor. Never okay. use cooking wine. No. I figure if wow. you can't drink it, you don't cook with don't it. Don't cook it, okay. Uh -huh. And then we're going to mix it all together. And the wild card is, is that you want to not add too much wine. It says two tablespoons, uh -huh. but I want it to be light and fluffy like this. Okay. Not pasty. Not sticking together, not, not sticking clumping. sticking together, not pasty. And You've got to remember that when you bake this, the zucchini is going to put off moisture. Okay. okay? It's so we, that so let's pretend, oh, here is, oh, sorry, I went off camera. Here's no, that's this. okay. <laughs> this one has already been baked. It's still got a bit of firmness to it. And then I take my, my mixture and I just carefully stuff it like this. And then th Then that's put it. it right back, back into in the, the oven. oven. Okay. And we go another 375 until we end up with a wonderful finished product. Now we're looking at appetizers for your event. This Look. is what it looks like when it's done. And then it's still got serve. a little bit of an al dente, a little bit of firmness to it. Nobody likes soggy zucchini, <laughs> okay? And then I can just take it and cut it into bite-sized morsels. Ah, serve it up, tray it up. Uh -huh. Maybe put a little uh, colored mm. toothpick in it. I love the firmness of the zucchini. Don't overcook the zucchini. Don't oh, wow. get it. Don't, you know, don't put too much wine in this. We want it to have this light, loose type of a texture. And then the wonderful smoked gouda and yeah. roasted red pepper is just a delight. Those are going to go fast at the party you serve those at. Alex, uh -huh. thank you so much for joining us. If you'd like the recipe, you want to know how to make this, you can go on our website, kpvi.com, to get the recipe, and you'll be able to watch the video on how to make it too. So. Enjoy. We'll be right back. Thanks.